Is this product really any good? Hi everybody, I'm Basso Contour. Stay tuned, let's check it out. Well, here is the whole set. And one thing that's interesting is you could make the tool of a six foot length or a nine foot length using that centerpiece you see there. And of course, this is a six foot length and this actually is a length that I prefer. I found it far easier, but if you need to, here's the nine foot length. It's really simple to connect the pieces together as you can see here. It just takes a minute to get the hang of it. If you have already a Black & Decker 20 volt tool, you'll slide it in the same exact way. It takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get the hang of it. As with all the Black & Decker tools, there's a safety feature on the trigger. You actually first have to depress the top button before the trigger will work. If you don't, no power. My apricot tree is pretty much out of control and this is one of the main reasons I bought this tool. And so here I'm going to go ahead and try pruning a long branch. Here's an important tip. When you cut a branch, always cut a little bit of the bottom first so that way when the branch is cut, it won't splinter. If you need to change the tension on the chain, you first loosen these two screws as shown here. Then at the front of the saw, you use the flat side to make the adjustment, just like this. I thought this cover worked very well. Just be careful sliding it on that you don't get your finger caught and it holds the wrench and your oil bottle. On another large tree in my yard, there's several dead branches. They're not particularly large, but they're a ways up in the tree. And I'm going to go ahead and try cutting those down with this tool. Well, this is one of my wife's favorite trees, <laughs> but I hate it. I don't think she'll miss if I just chop off one branch. Let's give it a try. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video in Dublin, California. I'm Basso Contour. Thanks for watching, everybody. Ah, that's my favorite tree.